Available now. Link below. Brace yourselves, America, for an explosive expose that will leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. And this shocking special report will take you behind the scenes of a tense confrontation between AOC and a group of determined protesters who refused to let her escape accountability. As the truth unravels, you'll witness firsthand the congresswoman's desperate attempts to hide her hypocrisy and ignorance on the Israel-Hamas conflict, with her fiancé forced to intervene in accusations of manipulation flying. This is a side of AOC you've never seen before, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. As we dive deeper into the story, we'll uncover the disturbing reality behind AOC's empty rhetoric and her failure to stand up against the atrocities committed by Hamas. So trust me, you don't want to miss my final thought on this shocking revelation. Now picture this, folks. AOC the self-proclaimed champion of the people fleeing from protesters demanding answers about her stance on the Israel-Hamas conflict. It's like watching a politician trying to escape the truth, just like how many Americans are trying to escape the skyrocketing heating bills this winter. That's right, with utility costs expected to soar nearly 30%, it's time to take control and beat those greedy companies at their own game with this amazing portable mini heater. This powerful little device can quickly make any room toasty, warm, and the savings in the first month alone help pay for itself. So don't let yourself freeze like AOC's integrity. Get warm now. A whopping 55% off. Try it risk-free with a 60-day money-back guarantee. So head over to GetWarmNow.com before this incredible offer ends. Now, the video that was captured by Freedom News TV and shared on the X platform reveals a side of AOC that she desperately tries to keep hidden from the public eye. As she and her fiancé, Riley Roberts, exit a movie theater, a group of protesters confront her refusal to condemn actions on Hamas, the terrorist organization responsible for the deaths of over 1,300 Israelis and the kidnapping of 200 others in the devastating attack on October 7th. Watch this moment. You refuse to call it a genocide. No, I, I need you to understand that this is not okay. It's not okay that there's a genocide happening. You're not actively against it. You're lying. I'm lying. You're not you went on TV and avoided talking about it. But what? He was not laughing at it. It's a genocide. You're what? You're trying to do a political case. You can't call it a genocide. You're not being lying. We're not lying. We're not lying. You were not lying. You went to the interviews. It's insane. You haven't been calling it a genocide. Don't tell me I'm lying. Cool. Then just say it's a genocide. Just say it. Over 30,000 people are, de are dead, AOC. You can't just say it for once. Just say a word. That's it. That's all we want you to say. Or are you not angry about people confronting you publicly? You can't call it genocide. Over 30,000 people are dead. Stop. Stop. Okay? Stop. 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 We're not doing anything. We're just talking to an elected politician. That's all we're doing. That's it. Cut it, and you're going to cut this, and you're going to clip this so that it's completely out of context. I already said that it was, and y'all are just going to pretend that it wasn't over and over again. It's fucked up, man. And you're not helping these people, TV. and you're not helping them. You refuse to. You're not helping wow. them. <laughs> oh, wow. Now, despite the protesters' clear and direct questions, AOC refuses to give a straight answer. Instead, she accuses them of lying and manipulating the situation. Her fiancé, clearly sensing her inability to handle the heat, steps in, demanding the protesters back off. But the truth remains, AOC, for all her grandstanding and virtue, suddenly cannot bring herself to utter a word against the atrocities committed by Hamas. Now, this is not the first time AOC has found herself in hot water over her stance on Israel and Palestine. Just a day after Hamas' deadly attack, she came under fire from the head of New York City's Democratic Socialists of America for her remarks following a pro-Palestinian rally in the Big Apple. While the New York City DSA claimed to stand in solidarity with the Palestinian people and their supposed right to resist 75 years of occupation and apartheid. AOC's response was a far cry from the unequivocal condemnation of Hamas that the situation demanded. Now, in a weak attempt to appease both sides, AOC stated that it shouldn't be hard to shut down hatred and anti-Semitism where we see it. And she went on to state that the bigotry and callousness expressed in Times Square on Sunday were unacceptable and harmful in that devastating moment. But her words ring hollow when juxtaposed against her failure to directly call out Hamas for their terrorist actions. The New York City Democrat Socialists of America, in a rare moment of clarity, fired back at AOC, accusing her of exploiting the moment to target their socialist organization and divide the left in New York. They claimed that their sole aim was to grow the power of working people for freedom against exploitation and oppression. Yet they conveniently ignore the fact that their support for Palestine and their silence on Hamas terrorism only serves to 
perpetuate the very oppression they claim to stand against. So if you look ahead in the 2024 presidential election, it's more important than ever to have leaders who understand the complexities of the Middle East and who are willing to stand up against terrorism in all its forms. President Trump, during his time in office, demonstrated a deep commitment to Israel and an unwavering resolve to combat the threat of Islamic extremism. His leadership brought unprecedented peace and stability to the region, and his legacy serves as a reminder of what can be achieved when America stands firmly with its allies. In contrast, AOC and her ilk represent a dangerous trend in American politics, one that prioritizes virtue signaling and wokeness over the safety and security of our nation and its allies. As the protesters in the video clearly demonstrate, the American people are tired of politicians who talk out of both sides of the mouth and refuse to take a stand against evil. If you got value from this report, tap subscribe. My final thought is next. Now, in our closing remarks, we face a pivotal query. Does America benefit from leaders like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez? Her actions reveal a stark contradiction, showcasing her as a figure who, despite her assertive demeanor, fails to consistently uphold the principles she advocates for. Her reluctance to denounce the terrorist actions of Hamas not only undermines the foundational values of the United States, but also disrespects our ally Israel. As we approach the 2024 election, it's crucial to recall the lessons history teaches us. Our nation's leadership must embody resilience and unwavering commitment to justice, epitomized by figures such as President Trump, who prioritized American interests and confronted challenges head-on. Our country's destiny is at a crossroads, with no room for AOC's socialist agenda leading us astray. So now is the moment for unity, resilience, and adherence to the ideals that render America unparalleled. The decision rests with you, America. Opt judiciously. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.